Hey what's up everyone this is KSN and thanks for joining me for this video. So what do we have going on here today? Well as part of my ongoing efforts to clear out my game collection of older titles I found quite a number of them that I haven't yet opened up and this is one of them. This is Dishonored for the PlayStation 3. This is a stealth action adventure game and was released back in October of 2012. Now this is a standard retail copy of the game, but for those of you who are interested in the Game of the Year edition, I highly recommend you guys going over to my channel to check out an unboxing video of that item over there. But for now let's go ahead and focus on this item. So let's go ahead and check this out. So here we have the front cover. We have the main title up here, and in the very center we have the main character, Corvo. He appears to be wearing some sort of mask. And in one of his hands, he's wielding a dagger. In his other hand, he's charging up some sort of power. Now behind him, we have a dull gray background. There appears to be some sort of smoke or clouds hovering about him. And on the right side, we have some sort of clock tower or watchtower. Now this game was developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda. It's a winner of over 50 E3 awards. Let's go ahead and turn around to the side and back. So, here we have a couple pictures. We have an illustration of Corvo again. He appears to be wielding his dagger, and he's perched up somewhere. Now this is a winner of Game of Show at E3 2012. And in this game you'll be visiting a city unlike any other, where you'll stalk the streets of Dunwall where plague, industry, and mysticism collide. You'll be able to wield supernatural abilities, where you'll summon swarms of rats, bend time, and where you'll get to utilize your arsenal of weapons to eliminate the opposition. Now, action in this game does have meaning. You'll be able to move like a ghost, or leave a path of destruction. Your approach will decide the outcome of each mission. Now, this is a single player game. And there is a massive 5 gigabyte required installation to your hard drive. This game only outputs in 720p and 480p. I believe that's it for the back. Let's go ahead and open this item up. And with our trusty scissors, just slice this open and peel off the plastic. So here we have the glossy box and let's go ahead and open this up. It appears the disc has already fallen out so let's go ahead and put it back in place and we'll take out the flyers hmm. there appears to be some sort of inside cover art so let's go ahead and first we have the disc let's go ahead and take it out Oh, so I was right. Here we have Corvo perched atop some sort of ledge. He appears to be sneaking in, maybe about to kill that nobleman in the window. And off to the left, we have some sort of mech. And again, we have that clock tower or watchtower. Looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and set the disc back in. Let's 
Now for the flyer, let's see. We have a flyer for Doom 3 BFG edition. Not bad. Let's check out the manual. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that it's also illustrated and in color. It's a lot better than most manuals. So, again, we have the front contents, control layout, story overview, some descriptions of places of interest. character bios, <clears throat> some gameplay hints, go ahead and thumb through this, It's a pretty good manual. I believe you'll have a lot of fun reading through this in your spare time. And let's see the artwork on this. Expands out to that. Where you have a very dark brooding background. And I look forward to playing through this game. I haven't yet gotten to trying this out, but I imagine we'll be able to clear it out one day. So, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, I highly recommend you guys like the video. Be sure to leave me a comment or question down in the section below. And if you guys can help me promote this video and my channel, make sure to share the video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Twitch, and Player.me. And if you guys enjoy seeing this type of content, make sure to subscribe so you guys can catch more updates from me in the future. But for now, Looks like I'll have to say goodbye to you. So, make sure to tune in to another video with me in the future. But for now, see ya.